Um, um, so when you look at all these people, you know, the majority of the people who are successful in the demonology field has had some kind of job with some kind of military or cop background, you know, that is really structured and they don't take no crap off nobody. <laughs> well, what's your excuse then, Will? <laughs> you want the answer? He don't take no crap off nobody. I don't take crap off nobody. That's right. For good reason. <laughs> it, exactly. All righty. Uh, so, uh, what was I going to say? I totally lost my train of thought because the cats got my attention because they're clawing at things again, honey. Uh -oh. Fix that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> I'm like, I, I went to ask you something and I saw my cats climbing up my, uh, curtain, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you get demons out of cats? We think our cats might... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I I we have two kittens. One's a rescue that Will found, mm -hmm. and um, well, he had found two that their mother basically left them. Okay. Oh. So they were gonna die if you know he didn't bring them you know home. Yeah. And uh, the one sibling passed away, so we were afraid of how the other one would be. So we went and found another cat. Uh, because, I mean, this yeah. this kitten is, it was probably, like, maybe two weeks old when Will found it. I mean, it was little. Oh, wow. And um, so we've had these two cats, and I swear they're just, they're we have dogs, so we keep them in our bedroom for the most part. I say I'll let them, let them out. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want them to escape out the dog door. Yeah. But these yeah. cats will climb up everything, and they use their claws, and they climb up my legs, and they run across my face at night, and I love them to death, but I really do think that, you know, they're possessed or something. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cat. Um, um, we got the same year that I met my wife, and, um, and she's been a really good cat. You know, she'll get up in my lap and let me love on her, and, and she kind of tends to herself, you know, so... And then we got another cat. Um, her, her her name is Shy because she's shy. We don't ever see her. <laughs> so um, um, I I know cats can get a little crazy, but but I think we've been lucky enough to get um, well mannered, demonless cats. <laughs> At least somebody got them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I had on a brand new pair of jeans today, and they, you know, left claw marks in them yeah. because they were climbing up my leg. And I'm like, I'm not your scratching post. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed, you know, today when the sun started coming through our curtains, I could see the little holes from their claws. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes and asks me, how come they don't ever do that to you? Because they know better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Is that Absolutely. the, I take no crap, not even from cats? Is that it? Exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saved the one's life, so, you know, it owes me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, okay, so speaking of cats, we're, we'll, we'll work this into our advantage here. We do get off subject, but we try to blend it in so people don't realize we get off subject. No, we don't. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to make up an excuse here, okay? Your story. You can have it all you want. Okay, thank you. Um, so, animals. When it comes to, you know, all this, how do animals usually react? Because I know that's, like, one of the first things that I always get is, my dog even stares or, you know, whatever. How do animals react to cases like that? I honestly think it depends on the animal. You know, um, if they're in tuned to um, what we can't see and the reason why I say that is I, I've had several cases where the animals didn't even react to it but I've had other cases where they did right. you know so um, I think it's hit or miss um, I think that um, if, you, if, you, if you get a case and the dog or the cat is not reacting to it that doesn't mean that there's that that nothing is there 
you know, I'm, um, I'm, I, I'm a firm believer that, you know, animals just like us humans, you know, some humans are more in tune to what's to what we can't see versus others. And I believe um, animals are the same way. Some of them are attuned to it, but some of them aren't, you know. Or it could be that that they do see it, but, but they're too lazy to even move. <laughs> <laughs> no, or they just don't care. <laughs> that, exactly. But I'm, 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 I believe more of the aspect that, that some of them are attuned to it and some of them aren't. Right. Yeah, so I've always looked at it as you have two different personalities in animals. You have those that are protective and yeah. anything new in the house is considered a threat. And yeah. then you have the ones that are like, oh, you just came in? Come pay attention to me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And those no, are the I'm... ones that are going to be like, yeah, whatever. It's here. Who cares? As long as it shows me attention every once in a while. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, you know we uh, we uh, we have German Shepherds for dogs here, and um, Luke, um, um, he was our um, 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 male, and he weighed about 115 pounds. Um, he was only three years old, um, but um, he didn't like new people. He didn't like new things. So. Um, there were several times when my wife would be coming down the stairs, and he didn't know that she was upstairs, but yet he would hear the, stair, the uh, stairs creak and pop. He, there were times when he almost ate her up whenever she rounded that corner, you know? So um, he was a very protective type. You know, um, we, we never had any problems with him seeing something that we couldn't see. Um, I think because my house and my property is um, well protected, you know? Um, so we, we couldn't see him in that aspect. Um, we would always see him in an aspect where, um, um, he, he saw somebody that he didn't know, um, or something like that. So, um, any one of my animals, unfortunately, hasn't reacted to anything spiritual. All right. I don't think, because we also have four dogs. They're not all German Shepherds, but I do have one German Shepherd. I love German Shepherds. Oh, I love them to death. Yeah. Now hers is a coward. Yeah, mine is. Uh, <laughs> Jack is, yeah, he, he's a scaredy cat. Uh, yeah. But we, we have four dogs. We actually, we have a zoo. Um, oh. we, we have dogs. We have the two cats. We have two tortoises. We have frogs, ferrets, bunny, chameleon fish am i missing oh chickens we have chickens um Uh, but uh so we have a zoo literally mm -hmm. but i I know that we've had well i can't say we i have had things follow me they don't follow you they don't like will Uh, (laughs) (laughs) they follow me um i I think it's the whole you know he doesn't take crap thing that they don't like i don't know but (laughs) they'll follow (laughs) me home and for the most part, we haven't had animals react to anything, um, but we did have one dog who passed away last year, or this past year, and mm-hmm. I remember one time coming home from an investigation, and she barked at me like she didn't even know who I was. Yeah, but... but... No, that was before she started losing her memory, though. Oh. She, she did start, start losing her memory, but that was well before that. That was like months and months before that. Yeah, she ended up um, having dementia. Yeah. But wow. this was like way before that. Um, wow. Because once, you know, I she started losing her memory, I expected that. But this was like two years before that even happened that I came walking in the door. And it was almost like she looked past me, though, when she started barking. Really? And it was just the weirdest thing, because I, like, come in, and she just was, like, barking, and I was like, whoa, you know, and I had to calm her down, but it was it was almost as if she was looking right past me. So I'm wow. unsure of, you know, because I just came home from an investigation, yeah. so that kind of made me go, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But other than that, I don't think we've really had animals react to anything. Yeah. 
Um, you know, I've had, like I said, um, I've had some cases where the people said, oh, my my dog, my cat is um, reacting to this or or anything like like that. Or uh, I've had several to where things were going on, but they never reacted. So um, I believe it's, it's like hit or miss. You know, right. if, uh, if um, they're attuned to it, then they will see it. Um, if uh, they're not, then they won't. Right. I mean, I've had them react to noises that I've heard, you know, because there will be times that, you know, I was home alone and some weird thing would happen. Like I heard what I thought the TV turn on and yeah, yeah. both the dog and I both looked and but there's like no TV on. So, you know, yeah, but, <laughs> it's like, Whoa, time out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, OK, um, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but weird is kind of the normal sometimes in this house, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. faze us. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I agree. I think it must be like a hit and miss with dogs mm -hmm. and animals in general. Yeah. I just, I think that's funny though, because it's like one of the first things that clients tend to always tell me is, you know, my dog even reacts to it. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? That's why the small stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and that's, you know, I hate to go back to this, but um, earlier when I said, you know, sometimes um, paranormal teams will, will overlook the small stuff. Um, several times uh, whenever you get cases and, and they claim that they hear like a loud crashing noise and they go and investigate it and there's nothing that has been crashed or there's nothing broken. You know, that's an indicator that uh, you might be dealing with something negative or demonic. Um, if you're having someone who's having sleep paralysis, um, that is another indicator. And, and the reason why is I can prove this 100% of the time. Um, if we have one of those cases and someone says that, ha that they're having sleep paralysis, um, my next question is um is is something very very personal which I won't um I won't say it here mm -hmm. but one hundred percent of the time I am correct so uh, that's something that 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 we can talk about you know off the air right you know but but um that's something I I I don't want to put out to everyone but yeah um sleep paralysis is is a sign of demonic activity. Well, now inquiring minds want to know, so you will be getting an email after we get off the air. <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> sound, sound, sounds good. Yeah. yeah you know, um, every one of my cases that has been um, dealing with sleep paralysis, um, I, I, I ask them or I tell them to, um, um, I know they, they won't, be able to physically say it, but say it in their mind, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. And every time they say that, it stops. Wow. So just kind of food for thought, you know, and when we get off the air, I will I will let y'all know more about that. So if, if y'all get, you know, um, some cases and sleep paralysis is, is involved, um, all you got to do is ask one personal question, and they will say yes. Hmm. Okay. And yeah. that is a major contributor with opening with opening up the door for a demonic, a demon, to be attached to them. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. That that email's expecting you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we are running short on time. Uh, we would really like it if you could tell everyone where they can find you at, where they can uh, contact you okay. if they have any questions. All right. Well, um, I'm on Facebook, um, Leon A. Wiltz. Um, you can find me there. Um, I, when you pull me up, I am the guy in the blue shirt. With the, um, I think it's a, it's a great Georgia hat. I'm a, I'm a big Georgia Bulldogs fan, and I'm still heartbroken, like by the way. Um, 
Oh, I was physically sick. Oh, and uh, and um, I'm standing in front of a sign for Bonaventure Cemetery here.